Sunday, 10th of September 2017, will be the final round of the GH Motorcycles Husqvarna ACU Eastern Enduro Championship. This, this one is being organised by the Woodbridge Club at Butley. Now, what are the positions? I don't think you'll probably see this excellent report on page 14 of the ACU Eastern Gazette September issue, but I should read the little parts of it. Now there are six classes. I'm starting with the first three classes, well the three classes yet to be decided, and uh, first up is the experts class. Kevin Palmer leads on 83 points, and from Miles Saunders who is on 78 points, and only these two can win the title. Battling for third place overall are Dan Willis, Jack Berry, Alex Walton, while Jack Nicolo has a slight chance. The Clubman, car, the Clubman class, if I get my teeth right, has been fought very closely with James Barker on 92 points and Lee Munger 88 points. This class title can go either way and this is the one to watch. However, George Eustace, Eustace, get his name right, back riding this year after injury has secured third place. In the Clubman's Super Veteran class, Andy Mason has 97 points against Graham May's 82. And although a 13 points difference, it is not impossible for Graham to win the class title. Nigel Ross is in third place with 64 points and if Graham slips up he could finish second. However, if Nigel slips up, either Tim Ford or Steve Finch could take the third spot. On the three classes that have been won, starting with the Clubland veteran class, what a year has been for Dean Carey. Never won a round or even a title. And this year wins three rounds on the bounce and now the class title scoring 84 points. Michael Wyatt, Michael Wyatt, get my teeth right, is in second place on 47 points. Martin Greenaway is third on 45 points. And both these riders could finish second or third overall. But if they slip up, Terry Allen, Jeff Sharp, Andy Peck, Alex Crow and Ken, Kevin Gore can pass them. With the absence of Mark Chapman in the expert veteran class, Michael Ridge has taken full advantage to win the class, scoring 93 points from luckless con contest sponsor Gavin Hockey, who has scored 66 points. Although Gavin has a 13 points and a 16 points advantage over Paul Spurgeon and Phil Roper, these two can overtake him at the final round. Well, it's congratulations to Jason Morland, who has become the ACU Eastern Enduro Champion for the second year running. He has scored 93 points, while Tim Rose has 62 points and Matt Pope 50 points. Tim is guaranteed third place overall this year, only needs to hold off Matt to secure second. Matt, on the other hand, has Craig Roper, Brendan Myers and Sam Mitchell not far behind him, and any of these three could take the third spot. So it's on with the day, and let's see what happens. Three laps, starting over there. 
um, test, wrestler's test will be left in all day. Um, just a little criticism of eight here. Half of, a lot of you haven't got environment maps. That's a legal requirement for India, you know. And if we see you filling up without one underneath a boy, we'll be penalised now. Sorry about that, but you do get told every week about mats. And the, on the open going, there's lots of just gates of ours. We haven't taped all across every field and whatever, but if you can keep to the gates, we appreciate that. That's what we put on there for. And the test goes, I'll bring back to you. Just arrived in time, we're about to start. Off we go. Off we go. Test one, two, and three. Flat. And number four. Round six is now start. Go towards the special test. Jack the Niccolo or not? Oh, is it? One of the teams over, over another one trying to come off there. Michael Reach, expert veteran champion, 2017.
don't think he passed the timing break before that. One. I saw a bike. Very quiet that bike. No one just starting to test. Here comes another one. Two actually. That's the old supper boy would say two of them. Back. Squeaky brakes. They're coming thick and fast. I can see lights there. The sun reflecting on the helmet. Zoomed in, that's where they come out, I got it wrong. <laughs> Don't seem to going very fast, do they? Cut back to here. I wonder how they scored that. It's a bit difficult for the uh, timekeepers that. But they're so experienced they could, they could do that without any trouble. 81 looks like Dean Curry. Club and veteran class winner 2017. Say 85. That's in the distance there. That one's really motoring. Probably Andy Mason. Or Graham May. 140. Wait for a club and super veteran to come. He went early 140. I hope he kept on the course. Of course he did. Into the woods. Brian May is number 90. In contention for the club and super veteran title this year. Well, he's in that quite nicely. 92. 88 was certainly on it. There's Andy Mason, 93, Andy Mason. Leading the club and super veteran at this, this morning. Starting the day by 15 points. Will he win it for the fourth year running? Today will tell.